Okay, this is a uh, video training session on how to edit the contact form on the Greenscapes website. Um, first, I'm going to show you how to edit uh, the contact info. Um, secondly, I'm going to show you how to configure the form to what you'll see when someone fills out the contact form and sends it to you. Uh, lastly, I'm going to also show you how to edit the topic component, and then I'm going to go deeper into this as we get started. Um, so let's go ahead and log in, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And just as a reminder to log in, just put user at the end of the URL. More specifically, user at the end of your domain name. Once you're at, uh, to the user account page, go ahead and log in. Um, now that we're logged in, let's go ahead and click on the contact page and see what I'm talking about. So now that you're logged in and we're on the contact page, you see we have the view and the edit tab. We're in view mode right now. And in order to edit any of this stuff, we just simply click on the edit tab. Uh, but what I was telling you before is that I'm going to show you how to edit this information here. I'm also going to show you how to configure this whole section here and how it will appear when it gets sent to you when someone sends you this form. Also, I'm going to show you how to add and subtract items from the topic section. And let's go ahead and get started. Let's, um, let's do a little bit of edit this information section right here at the top of the contact page. So once you click edit and scroll down, you see we have two tabs, configuration and form components. Right now we're in the configuration mode and you see we have page title and description. If you drag this box open, you can see we have our contact information here. And just an example, if you just need to change the phone number You just simply enter in your new phone number and press save. But since you guys aren't having a phone number, I'm not going to save this page. I'm just going to refresh. Make sure we don't lose any of our information. Okay. Um, the next box down is the confirmation message. So this is the message that um, someone will see once they've sent the form. Just a simple thank you. Maybe we can change this to thank you very much. And now if you scroll all the way down to web form mail settings. This is the email address that it will send to. So when somebody clicks submit on the form, this is the email it will send to. I have my name in right here because this is a development site. But in order, if you wanted to add someone else to this email list, just separate them by commas. And if you needed to add something else behind info at greenscapes.net, just hit comma. Enter in the names and click save. I'm going to send a sample uh, of this web form out, so I'm not going to leave these email addresses in there going to delete them so it only sends to me. And then I'm also going to show you what these mean as well. The email form name. So the name at the top will say Greenscapes. The from address is going to say it's from 
info at greenscapes.net and the subject when someone sends it. It will say form submission from and then the title of the page and the title of the page is contact us. Um, we're going to go ahead and change that to Greenscapes website. So it'll say form submission from Greenscapes website. And to simply press save. Okay, now I'm going to show you quickly how to add a topic to um, the topic form component. So we'll go ahead and press edit. Click the tab labeled form components. Scroll down and we see the topic here. Just go ahead and click on edit to edit the topic. And here are our options. I'm just going to add an option called landscaping. And we're going to make landscaping the default value. So when anyone comes to the contact page, this will be the default value in the drop down menu. And we're going to go ahead and we'll move this one underneath Echo Friendly. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and press Submit. And now let's go ahead and view our contact form. As you can see, landscaping is our default value. And it's also underneath Echo Friendly. And I'm going to go ahead and fill out this form and show you what it looks like when it's sent to you. We'll go ahead and pick something besides landscaping. We'll say Echo Friendly. Okay, and now press submit. Okay, now you can see once it's pressed, uh, once uh, someone who's visiting your site sends you that contact form, it'll, they'll get a message that says thank you very much, and a link that says go back to the forms. This is based simply take them back to the contact, contact page with an empty form. And now I should have gotten that email. And you can see it's from Greenscapes. The subject is Greenscapes website. We'll go ahead and click on there. And this is what it should look like when you receive your email. It'll say from info at greenscapes.net. Subject is Greenscapes website. And then the two will, will most likely not be my name. It'll be the email address that you want these forms to go to. And then here is all the form components. Okay, that is um, how to edit a the contact form on the Greenscapes website. Thank you.